So g'day people, how you going today? Today, let's talk about Australian wildlife. So, I actually do like wildlife. I like snakes, snakes are cool. Don't be scared of snakes because if you see a snake, turn the other way and go. But, most of the other animals are pretty harmless in Australia anyway. We don't have bears that will take you in the bush. We don't have lions or anything like that. Uh, oh, a major problem that people have is probably domestic animals, horses, sheep, cows. They can hurt people quite a lot. But in the wild, you can get wild dogs. They can hurt people, younger people that are smaller, children. Especially if you look up Fraser Island dog attacks, we have native dingoes. They actually hurt people. But... Anyway, most of the Australian wildlife will not actually actively attack you. They will defend themselves, even the ones that look harmless. So, I have this book, Melbourne's Wildlife. This is uh, printed by Melbourne Museum. It's actually quite a good book. You should actually get it if you're into Australian wildlife. It's, uh, well, well, we'll just have a little look. And we'll, I'll show you a few animals that I actually like. So anyway, people, everything in this book is copyrighted to the Melbourne Museum, especially the images like this one here, and all other people that have donated. So this video is not actually to make money, it's just to uh, have a look at the book and to, um, yeah, just to show you some animals that live in, well, Melbourne, because... Not all of these animals actually live around Australia. So here we have a possum. This is a, looks like a feather-tailed possum. And as you can see, it looks like a, something like a, oh, it's probably equivalent to an American um, uh, squirrel or, oh, what else did they have? Yeah, something like a squirrel. It lives in the trees, as you can see. It actually eats eucalyptus leaves but it also eats insects as well. And that's very common around Melbourne. It's very common wherever there are trees. And um, here we have an owl. I'm not too sure what owl might be a sooty tern, not too sure. No, not a sooty tern, it's a bloody seabird. Uh, some type, probably related to the barn owl. So in the table of contents, we have insects, and we have other vertebrate animals. Vertebrates are animals with a backbone or a simple central nervous system structure that are uh, calcified in some form. And we also have uh, marine animals. So this is a shorehead seahorse taken by Rudy Koita. Quite a nice photograph. And she is probably aquatic and aquatic photo photographer and you can find her online if you search because the photo is quite good so so this is the basic gist of it we just have various animals as you can see earthworms leeches flatworms uh, actually has a species here and just gives a brief information habitat and some notes so if you want more detailed information you'd have to look it up online or get a book and um, search it for yourself but we have snails, slugs, mollusks. So mollusks, so that's a mollusk, uh, but it's a gastropod, a snail. And we have lots of varieties of native snails, like this one, garlic snail. This is actually quite a common snail around here. And this is the most common garden snail. And I believe that actually comes from Europe. And I don't kill these snails because if I do, my cat might get hurt. So, and then we have spiders. Here we have a St. Andrew's cross spider. This is quite a big spider, probably about as, ooh, probably about like that big, as big as the photo itself. And it's, uh, it actually looks beautiful, it makes big webs, so if you actually walk into it, uh, the spider won't be too happy, and it'll actually be on your head. So, now we have a prey mantis, as you can see. It is here. Prey mantis uses its legs to actually catch prey in which it eats it alive. Now this is a green prey mantis and it's actually a quite common insect around my area. 
And then we have some Avermantids, we have uh, some termites, we have various insects, European uh, earwig, earwigs are quite common, we have flies, we just call these uh, flies around here, and the big one probably called blowfly, various bees, hoverfly, and if we can go, oh this is what I like, so, cicada. Not bad. They actually have a long life cycle compared to other insects. They live uh, underground for all, most of their life and then they come out as a flying insect and they mate and die. So we have freshwater fishes. Now the diversity of Australian freshwater fishes is quite low compared to other countries. Mainly as I was reading because the Australian continent periodically goes very dry and eliminating fish species and reducing diversity. Sorry, oh fuck. And now we have various bird bird species. So gang gang cockatoo, quite an interesting bird. Uh, we have a crested pigeon, has a crest on its head. And spotted turtle dove, which is foreign. And we have various types of parrots as well. Beautiful. Lots of information in there. Nice. And cockatoo, which is common. Corella, which is common. Lorikey. I don't see many of them around here, but they are common in other areas of Melbourne. So we also have the platypus, which is uh, can occur in some creeks that are less polluted. Echidna. Now this is quite common. I live right next to a uh, parkland, and this is actually quite common there. I see it probably every, at least once a month. Uh, marsupials, fescagal, brush-tailed fescagal. This also occurs uh, in the bushland where uh, close to where I live. And I'm very fascinated by this animal. Very interesting creature. And we have uh, little marsupials that actually look like uh, m mice. These are antichinus and dunnets. So here's a dunnet. The dunnet has more of a pointed face. The antichinus has more of a, a mouse type face as well. So they actually occur in the parklands where I live. And they're very interesting creatures. So he's a fat tailed dunnet. Very interesting. So here are the possums that I was talking about. So the most common is the ring tailed possum. And the. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, we have the lead beater. That's okay. And the glider. And there should be a, a, a um, feather tailed, is it? Let's have a look. Yep, feather tailed glider. It's also a bit common. And possums are very interesting as well, because as I said, they actually live in trees. They actually like to eat insects and vegetation. And uh, probably small um, frogs and uh, ooh, lizards as well. And, oh, the most iconic animal, the koala. Now, there are none of them where I live, even though there's uh, trees and a watercourse, but uh, they're just not here. And a wombat, most people don't know what that is, even in Australia. Um, but have a look at it. It's a big, solid animal. It runs very fast. And, obviously, that's a mum with a baby, or a young one. It wouldn't be a joey, because it's a bit older to be a joey. Then there are kangaroos, pretty common. Black wallaby, eastern grey kangaroo, and potteroo, which is actually not as common. Then at the back of the book, we have various marine life. So we have our uh, blue bottles, which are poisonous, comb jellies, moon sails. Oh, let's have a look at some other pages. Okay, we have this type. So anyway, people, I hope that that brief description and a review of the book um well just teaches you a little bit about australian wildlife and specifically wildlife in uh, melbourne victoria which um well if you go to countryside you see pretty much the same animals anyway so i would like to know what wildlife you have around your area because wildlife is awesome so if you like this video, please like and subscribe and have an awesome day, people.
because life is worth living.